Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, I am Penge and welcome to Hell Architect, where we are going to be designing some hell. And you know hell, with the flames and the screaming and the torture and all that kind of stuff. That hell, we are going to be building a little bit of that. So we're some sort of hell manager, apparently. I guess we're kind of like a middle management demon of some description. So I bet we've got quite a nice office, it's probably made of fire and brimstone. We've probably got a desk made of human skulls, and I'd like to think that maybe we have a lovely chair made out of, I don't know, people's faces or something but it's our job to design this little particular bit of hell so as well as all the torture stuff that we need to put around because of course we want to put torture stuff in to make sure our residents are very very miserable indeed we also need to look after them a little bit because our residents the sinners are also going to be doing quite a lot of the manual labor for us they're going to be tunneling through the layers of hell and gathering resources and building all the stuff so to that end we're going to have to look after them a little bit by making sure they've got some food to eat and water to drink and also so we are going to be providing them with toilets. Now I'd never really considered that there might be toilets in hell. Hellish toilets sound most unpleasant. I would not want to use such a thing. But there we go. We need to provide some of those for our people too. As you can see this is the demo version of the game. So it's not the finished version. There might be bugs and glitches and so on and so forth. And indeed there is a certain finite end to this. There is a particular thing that you can kind of aim for. And that completes the demo version if you like. There's sort of an end goal. Which is uh, something that we will have a look at. But of course, if you're interested, there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you want to go and check it out and wishlist it and all that kind of stuff. And also the demo is available for free as well. So if you look at this and you think, Joe, well, I'd like to go and do some hell architecting, then you can do so. Go and pick up the demo and have a little go yourself. So let's just pop down to hell, shall we? Let's pop down to hell and do some architecting. So welcome to hell, everybody. I mean, it doesn't look quite as hellish as I would have imagined. I mean, it doesn't look nice. It's not a place I would like to go to on my holidays. But yo, know, it doesn't look quite as hellish as I thought it might do. I guess this is a subsection of hell, possibly. I imagine on the other side of this hellish door here, you probably got the main areas of hell. You know, you've got your admin offices and your cafeteria and your gift shop and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we're in a little kind of subsection of hell. And as you can see, we have ourselves three sinners just here. So these three have sinned and we get ourselves a new sinner in nine minutes and 25 seconds. So let's have a look at you three. Who are you? So we've got Abel. Okay. And they've got little little kind of modesty fig leaves on. That's very nice. So we've got Abel. Uh, we've got Eve. Okay, right. Are you Adam by any chance? Oh, what a surprise. Okay, there we go. And as you'll see, they've all got these meters down here. So they've all got hunger meters, drink meters, tiredness meters, and bladder meters. So yes, they're in hell. And yes, we want to torch them. But we also need to make sure that these meters are okay. We need to make sure that yeah, they've had some food. I mean, I imagine it's quite terrible food. But we need to make sure they've had food and drink and a rest and gone to the loo and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is our main currency up here. And of course, because we're in hell, it's the currency of suffering, which sounds thoroughly unpleasant. And the thing up here, is just all sorts of horrid. There's like a skull and spikes and it all looks very, very grim. So uh, yeah, that's our main currency. So we need lots of that and we can build loads of other bits and bobs. And then there's other stuff up here. There's dirt and coal and metal and steel and different types of crystals and all the other stuff as well with ingredients and food and drink that we can get. Um, but the, what we need to do is at the end of this demo is when we build ourselves this thing just here. The end of the demo is when we build the forbidden fruit. So that is what we want to do. That is our ultimate goal. But to do that, we need to get all this other stuff constructed first because that needs a lot of resources and a lot of suffering and all that kind of stuff. So we need to make sure we look after our poor little people here. So let's start digging, shall we? We've got no resources of any kind and it would make sense to go over there. I think it would make sense to go over in that direction and dig that out like that. We'll dig that out as well. We want to try and get all this stuff, really, don't we? We want to get all these resources. So we're going to need coal and metal and what have you. So if we do that, dig our way through there, that also creates ourselves some little areas where we can go and build some other stuff. So if we go to here and then we start tunneling down like this, if we just get that big block of stuff like that, and then that means we can maybe have another little room down here. And we can construct ladders and stuff around the place so we can get them moving about. With regard to that, it is a little bit kind of oxygen not included. The sort of sideways view and the tunneling through the ground and gathering resources and stuff. It is a little bit inspired by that, I imagine. So let's hurry up your, um, hurry up your sort of uh, digging work there. It takes them a little while to dig through the um, through the bigger things there. I like the um, I like the fact that when they dig, you know, they go for higher stuff. They just have a really really long spade. <laughs> just 
just got like a really long spade. That's very good. But here we go. So they're cracking on with it. Oh, and you've decided to just go back over there. So we'll let them dig all this out. So while they're doing that, let's have a look at what we need to actually get done. Now, the first thing we are going to need to do, really, we are going to need to put down a torture device of some sort. And the Iron Maiden is your basic torture machine. It generates suffering. It doesn't generate much suffering, uh, but it doesn't cost any suffering to actually get constructed. And it costs 60 dirt, I think that is. And is that metal? It looks like 10 metal, which I think we've got loads of. So yes, I think we'll put one of these around. And you know what? Just to welcome people to hell, let's pop it right by the door. Let's put it just there. Oh, that's nice. The little blueprint type thing is this kind of sort of hand-drawn sketch of where we'd like it to go. Okay, that's quite fun. Now, the thing is, they are going to get stuck in there, aren't they? They're going to be stuck in here because they cannot get out of there because they're silly. Um, let's dig out those bits there whilst we're here. We'll dig those bits out as well. Um, and then once these two blocks have gone, we're going to need to build them a ladder. So there are basic structures. There's ladders and floor bits and torches and all that kind of stuff. Let's get a ladder constructed so they can get back up here and then come over here and get our first torture device in. Because that's fun. You know, that's what this is all about. We're in hell and we've not done any torturing yet. So I feel like you know, we're letting the side down a little bit. And then we can put something in here. We've got a little space now where we can put some stuff. In fact, you know what? When you've done that, you dig out that bit as well. And we'll have a big area over here where we can go and start uh, start, you know, digging and, and putting things down and what have you. Uh, over here. Ah, right. They've finished it. They've finished it. Splendid. So the Iron Maiden is now done. Um, so, yeah, people pop into here. And they, you know, they they endure the Iron Maiden, and um, and then we get ourselves the suffering. So what does it do? Trait blood. Get special bonuses by assigning this sinner to a torture with the blood trait. Okay. So hang on a minute. Have any of you got the blood trait? I do not know. Let's pause time for a second. Um, have you got the blood trait? Yes, you have. You have. So Abel. It would be brilliant if we could pick Abel up. And put Abel into there. I mean, can we can we pick Abel up? Can we can we do that? Don't know if we can pick Abel up. Oh right, well we can pick somebody up. Um, no, we couldn't pick somebody up. Oh okay, let's just grab. Can we just drag and drop you straight in? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. Or, or no, we can't. Oh no, you're going there right now. And is that Abel? There we go. So Abel has got the blood trait. So get special bonuses by assigning this sinner to a to uh, torture with the blood trait. So we should get some more suffering. Out of putting Abel into here. <laughs> it, seems, it all seems a bit mean, to be honest, doesn't it? It seems very, very mean. Um, let's also dig out this way a little bit. We'll dig out here. Oh, hang on a minute. He's, got, he's gone into the torture machine. Let's go and have a little look. We'll grab all those sort of uh, resources whilst he's being tortured. Right. Let's go over and have a look at what's going on. So <laughs> he's got googly eyes. And there's tomato ketchup coming out of this all over the place. So we get plus three suffering every uh, cycle. These things run round in cycles. So that has eight cycles of torture by the look of it. And every time it goes round and completes the eighth cycle of torture, uh, we get ourselves some suffering, which is lovely. So there we go. So, I mean, it's lovely that we're getting suffering. It's not lovely for poor um, for poor Abel in there, who is you know being tortured and all this ketchup is coming out. And we're going to get a new sinner soon as well. That could be very, very handy. Okay, do you know what? Is it worth getting another one of those in as well let's pop another one right next door why not you're coming to hell that's what you're gonna get that's what's gonna happen they can keep digging over there we do need to now look at putting some other things in so maybe over I and mean, that's where the torture things are maybe over here we could have some sort of uh sort of food prep area maybe this could be where we start doing all of our food and what have you that would be quite good, I think, if we could get that done. And maybe we could have a ladder going up there to something. Oh, that could be quite good. That could be quite good. Do that. And then, yeah, sort of uh, dig out that bit with that stone. And go over to there and dig out that coal as well, please. In fact, you know, we just dig out that whole bit there. That's absolutely fine. And then if we put a... Not that button. If we put a ladder going up to there, that means that people can get up there. And then they can start tunneling that out. And we'll put something up there as well. Because that could be quite fun. So along here, uh, what are our needs? What's the what's the pressing need of our people? Um, possibly some, some toileting facilities. Okay. Where can we put toileting facilities? Right. Do you know what? We'll let you out of there for now, Abel. How was that? And he goes straight from one Iron Maiden to then just building the next. And I like the fact that he's got a... Uh, <laughs> he puts on like a proper builder's hard hat. 
you're in hell. What's going to happen if something falls on your head? It'll probably just really hurt for a bit and then that's it. Okay, speed time on. Let's get all this stuff done. And here comes a new person. Hello, who are you? So you've just taken over. It's you. It's you just there. Who are you? Tamar. Hello, Tamar. How are you? Welcome to hell. And then another 10 minutes and four seconds, we get another person. Okay, so we need to get that ladder in. They're busy down here doing all this kind of stuff. Maybe down here we'll have sort of uh, toilet facilities. You know, sort of out the way a little bit. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. I think we need to dig that out so it's a smooth kind of ramp for them. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So let's go over here then. So drink. What are we going to do with this? Then? So there we go. A simple latrine used by sinners as a toilet and produces excrement. And that requires 40 suffering. So we've got just enough suffering to build ourselves a toilet. How lovely. It needs dirt, it needs metal, it needs coal for some reason. Why does the toilet need coal? What kind of toilet is coal powered? I don't know. Um, so let's put that uh, I don't know, there. Just pop a toilet down just there. And then when they finish doing all this stuff, hopefully someone will run over and build us a toilet. Or is it you? Are you coming down to build the toilet? Are you being very, very efficient? Or are you just chopping this bit? Oh no, you're building the toilet. Okay. So we're going to have ourselves our very first toilet. Hooray! We've got a toilet in play. Okay. <laughs> That's lovely. So now they can go to the loo if they so wish. We do now need some more suffering. So what else do we need in drink then? So they can go to the loo. A water squeezer. Use this to produce dirty water. Okay. So that manufactures dirty water. And then from the metal bucket, sinners use it to quench their thirst by using dirty water. Okay, so we squeeze water out of people, I would assume. I don't really know. And then we put that into a dirty bucket and then they can drink the horrible water from the dirty bucket. And uh, that satisfies their thirst, even though they're drinking dirty water. But you are in hell. So, you know, your expectations should be relatively low. Um, It might be quite a good idea to try and get this in, the Bath of Kings. I mean, it sounds quite nice. The Bath of Kings sounds like a lovely thing. You could probably got really loads of soap and loads of nice oils you can put on. What's wrong with that? In boiling water, you can smell the scent of cooking meat and higher base suffering. Okay, the water's a little bit warm, right? Well, yeah, that's something that people are going to have to put up with. Let's just pop a couple of people. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to build mode. Hang on. No, come out of build mode. Uh, put a couple of people into there. Just say, add two sinners, because we're going to need some more suffering. We're going to need suffering to do all of these things, because we can't do anything right now. We've not got enough suffering. We've got plenty of other resources, just not enough suffering, unfortunately. Never mind. Uh, also, I noticed they can't do those there. They're struggling to get those. Okay, right, there we go. So we've got a little place up here as well. Now, I wonder, are we, are we both? Yep, you're both being tortured googly eyes and ketchup all over the place uh, let's have a little look so uh they do need somewhere to rest what can we do a paper box okay <laughs> okay a paper box a place to sleep but mostly to hide from work okay and that requires 30 suffering oh my goodness me we need to we need to torture you lot for quite some time let's just get up to let's maybe get up to 30 suffering and we'll put down a paper box. A lovely place to go and rest. Um, and you know what? Up here can be the rest area. So pop a little box down. And there we go. And it really is just a box. It's just a <laughs> it's just a, a tiny little kind of a cardboard box with some kind of, you know, packing stuff in it. Okay, lovely. Well, there you go. You've got a place to go to the loo and a place to rest. I mean, given this is hell, I mean, they're, they're two quite luxurious things. What does the toilet actually look like? Okay, it looks unpleasant. I mean, I was going to say I'm surprised there's toilet paper. We don't know what quality that is. I mean, that might be made of sandpaper. It has already been graffitied, however. The toilet has been in for no time at all. It's already been graffitied with the words George was here. I don't think George was. Have we got anybody called George? I don't think we have anybody called George. Oh, they've got out. They really need the toilet, those two. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think we've got anybody called George. But I'd like somebody to clean that up, please. Can we clean up the toilet, please? And all the grot and stuff. But, you know, because we're in hell, can you clean it up using your face? I think how those two need to go to the loo quite a lot as well. We might need a secondary toilet. Let's get you over there. You can go and get tortured a little bit. Yeah, you're now coming over here. I think we've generated some excrement there. I think Chappie there, Abel, just went to the loo. So he's absolutely fine. I think he has generated some, some some good old, you know, poop mess there. Yeah, so indeed. So we've got some some grot. 
So what do we do with that? I'm not entirely sure. We're generating some more. I think it might be a good idea to get a second toilet into play. That might be quite a wise idea. So when we get up to 40 suffering, we will build ourselves another latrine. Can we do that now? Come on, give us a little bit more suffering. A tiny bit more suffering, please. And boom, there we go. You've suffered enough. And we'll just put it next to the other one, because why not? There we go. Little sort of area of toilets. That is lovely. You're coming over to use the loo. I mean, are you going to use the new one or the old one? Ah, oh, the new one wasn't quite ready. You have to use a slightly sort of uh, slightly soiled one. Uh, although George is also in this one as well. Are you called George? You're called Adam. Stop lying. Stop lying to people. Okay, so a couple of toilets. We've got some more suffering being generated by whoever that is in there. And we've got a cardboard box. I mean, you know, it's not quite as I envisaged hell might look, but, you know, we're getting there. Now, let's check out ultimate end goal. So, yes, when we build this, when we build the forbidden fruit, that kind of ends the demo. There's nothing else to sort of go towards. So, that's the ultimate end goal. But, yeah, we need an awful lot of suffering for that. And we need lots of resources. So, dirt will be fine, but 300 metal and 200 coal... That's going to be quite difficult to get our hands on. That's going to require an awful lot of digging, which means we do need to make sure that they're all well rested and they can drink and eat and all that kind of stuff. And we're not doing too well with the drinking and the eating stuff. They can't drink or eat anything at the moment. How are you for your sort of needs of that regard? You're okay. Uh, sort of thirst is creeping up a little bit. Okay, what do we need for our next thing then? So yeah, the water squeezer needs 50 suffering. Okay, who would like to go back and get tortured a tiny bit more? There we go. Let's just pop you back in. And we can't do much else. Is it worth doing some more digging, possibly? Worth doing a bit more digging. How about we dig? There's quite a lot of resources down here. Why don't we just dig down? We'll just sort of, you know, fit ladders and things. Um, and then we'll go maybe into there. And then dig through this. And then dig around here just dig that whole bit out please dig all of that please if you can if you can dig all that that would be wonderful in fact we might have to do it in in sort of uh, layer type things there we go and then we'll also get ourselves a basic ladder constructed to just there so we can actually get up and down and stuff there we go splendid right suffering is up to 60 something that should be enough for us to get a water squeezer for 50 so yeah, where do we get the water? Yeah, I guess we just squeeze a person. I'm going to assume that the water squeezer just squeezes up one of our one of our sinners and just I don't know squishes the water out of them or something. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I do not know. We will find out when it's constructed. Okay, so let's have a little look. So there you go. Hard hat on. Buildy, buildy, build. Okay, All right. Pause time for a second. What does it actually require? I think that tells us what it requires. It processes. It pro oh, <laughs> okay, right. I mean, we are in hell. So what we do is we take, and it's conveniently located, actually, we take the excrement and we squeeze the excrement and we take the water out of it and that's what our people are going to be drinking. Again, you're in hell. Your expectations cannot be too high. Okay, <laughs> so they're going to be eating, uh, drinking, sorry, poop water. Okay, fine. There we go. Now, can we put the bucket in? Oh, it requires a tiny bit more suffering. Tiny bit more. There we go. So now we can put the bucket in just there. Well, let's put the bucket next to that. Why do you want to do anything else? Do we need to put somebody working on this? I think we might need to actually get somebody working on that. Do we need a person? Yeah, let's do that. So you can then go and squeeze some poop. Yeah, look, and there's flies flying around it and all sorts. <laughs> That's very unpleasant. That's very, very grim indeed. But there you go. The water squeezer it's doing is, is doing its thing. Yes, and it's going to get up to... So that takes quite a long time. That has a cycle of 25. But once that's done, we should see some drink being generated, I imagine. So yeah, there we go. There you go. 10 dirty water. <laughs> Freshly squeezed this morning, everybody. Come, come and get your, come and get your fresh water. It's lovely. Uh, okay, right. Hang on. Let's let's get you out of there for now. You can have a little bit of a rest. Now, why are you just stood there? Can you not dig any more? Oh, you can't get down. You can't get down anymore. Let's yeah, dig that. Then you can dig those bits. Then you can dig that, and that should let you get down here to start digging some tunnels out over here. Okay, that's fine. You can carry on doing that. Are you going to get some help? Yes, you are. Marvellous. You're busy just carrying on making what water we can out of the uh, the remaining excrement, which is all sorts of terrible. Uh, okay, so we've got water. 
How do we do food? Food is just here. I kind of think we need to get that Bath of Kings in. But maybe we get that in after the food stuff is in. As long as they've got places to, you know, eat and sleep and drink, then I think we can maybe get the Bath of Kings in after that. So food. What do we need? A flesh farm. It produces meat. Raw meat isn't edible. I mean, I would beg to differ given that we're in, you know, hell and everything. But okay. So let's get... I mean, do we want to put our needs over here? So have some sort of food prep stuff over here. Uh, we can build that. We've got 31 suffering. We can get ourselves a flesh farm. Okay, it sounds thoroughly unpleasant, but, you know, there we go. We're in hell. Okay. That, that, I don't know, what, what is that? I don't really know what that is. How do we grow flesh? That sounds all sorts of grim. Okay, well, let's see. Somebody will come over and build that eventually. Nobody's going to come over and build that because they are stuck down a big hole. Right, hang on a minute. There you go. Have that, please. And you can get back up and then you can carry on doing your jobs. There you go. Crawl back up. We need somebody to build the flesh farm because you're all going to get very hungry. Ah, that seems to have ran out of of uh, of excrement to use. Yes, no resources. There's no resources left. So if you want to drink, you know what you've got to do. You've got to go over here and then well, yeah, go over here. <laughs> That's what you've got to do. Right, we have ourselves a flesh farm. It looks absolutely revolting. That is horrible. Is that just gross kind of pulsating flesh? <laughs> okay. Right. I don't really like that very much. Do we need to put somebody to work there? Or does it just generate ingredients? Oh, no, it's just it's just going. It's just growing ingredients. And imagine, do we see the meat appear in that list? And when we get to 30... Yeah, plus five meat. Okay, so the next thing then in food is a cauldron. Sinners use this old iron pot to prepare smelly gloop. Okay, so we need 50 for that. We need 50 suffering. Um, how are you all looking for food? How are you all looking for food? You're all looking okay. Oh, no, you, you're newly arrived, aren't you? Yeah, food is looking okay, actually. Not bad. How about we pop another person into there... So pop another poor victim into there somewhere. There you go. I'm really sorry. You have to go get tortured a little bit. You've done some very good work with digging, but now we are going to have to torture you ever so slightly. And for that, I apologise. On behalf of Hell Incorporated, I'm very sorry. So three suffering. And what do we get from you when that completes? Six, seven, and eight. Three suffering. Lovely. Okay, right. So we're gathering quite a bit of suffering. I think... Maybe, to speed things on a bit, we wait. We wait until we can build ourselves a Bath of Kings. Because it does have a higher base suffering. We've got the resources. We just need 150 suffering in the bank to then place that down. So, um, well, I'll just sit back. I'll sip at my tea, which is made with lovely clean water and not water made from all this stuff down here. And, um, yeah, we'll wait for that to creep up. I mean, we're halfway-ish there anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll wait for that to creep up to about 150, and then we'll put down an entirely new and exciting torture device. Do you know, whilst we wait for the suffering to kind of climb up to levels we need, I notice that somebody has extracted themselves from the Iron Maiden. Somebody else get back in there. We want more suffering, please. Um, there are some interesting ingredients. So they're not kind of as hellish as I thought they might be. So the ingredients are meat, potatoes, roots, mushrooms, and then excrement. That's kind of the worst one. But, you know, meat and potatoes, roots and mushrooms... That's all right. That, that's kind of, you know, normal stuff. And then the food, I imagine this is what we can make with certain kind of food things in here. So the first one is smelly gloop. That's kind of fine. You're in hell. Then you can make simple meals, tasty meals and divine meals. Surely a divine meal in hell is, is some sort of terrible, terrible thing. You don't want a divine meal in hell, do you? <laughs> that's gonna, that, that kind of defeats the object. And then um, drink. Again, it's only one that's really bad. Dirty water, which obviously we know is squeezed out of out of poop. That that's quite grim. But the rest is water, energy drinks, root beers and vodka. I mean, we're supposed to be in hell, are we not? And they're gonna be sitting there eating lovely meat and potato divine dishes whilst tucking into a root beer or something. It doesn't sound quite as hellish as I thought it might be, but uh, okay, right. Have we got lots of suffering? We might as well get over two hundred now. There we go. Over two hundred. Right, you two pop out of the Iron Maidens. Let's get ourselves an all new way of torturing you with the Bath of Kings. Let's put that um, there. Why not? Let's pop it just there. Can we kind of, can we narrow that out? Can we put lights in? I think I saw a torch earlier, didn't I? In here there was a torch. Can we put a torch in just there? Oh, there's decor. <gasps> decor. 
chandeliers and shelves. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is very good. Oh, I like this. This is great. Um, yeah, can we put a chandelier in? Oh, we can't put a chandelier in over there. Oh, that'd be we could have had a chandelier over the over the cauldron. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, can we dig out that one bit there? That'd be good, just to make that look nice and even. Right, who who wants to go in here? Who wants to go into the Bath of Kings? I mean, you're right next to it. There you go. I mean, the water's a little bit hot, probably. But, you know, just find the cold tap. Put the cold tap, put the cold water in, and you'll be absolutely fine. Right, over here, then. Can we build ourselves some torches around this, just to make it look kind of, you know, pretty? A torch there and a torch there. That might be quite nice. And a couple of torches around the Iron Maidens as well. Um, and what was in decor? Chandeliers and shelves. Oh, yes. Can we put some shelves around the doorway? There we go. Yeah, some nice shelves just around the doorway to hell. Just to go, there you go, look. There you go. You're coming to hell and there's some lovely shelving. It's not all bad. We've got stuff on shelves. I mean, who knows what it is? Acid or I don't know what that would be. Itching powder or something. I don't know. But whatever the case, we've got some stuff. Uh, 81 suffering. Right, we're probably going to need to do something with our food. Oh, hang on. It's, are you having a drink from the bucket? That is quite terrible. There you go. You're drinking from the bucket. You're drinking dirty water that's been freshly squeezed out of a load of poop. How very unpleasant. Okay. And there is actually some more excrement there. So can we get somebody back generating some more dirty water, please? That would be excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. What do we need for food provision then? So there was a cauldron. That's 50 suffering. Yeah. So we'll pop that there because why not? And then what was the next one? A trough, which requires 40 suffering. Okay, well, hang on a minute. Somebody pop over into there. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, Abel has just volunteered himself to pop into that. Okay, what does that require? Heat. Special bonuses by assigning this sinner to a, to a torture with the heat trait. Okay, Abel, what what do you like? Uh, do, you, do you care about the heat trait? Oh, yeah, you're okay with that. You're okay. We get a 50% bonus, do we? Because he does not like hot things. Okay. Oh, no, hang on. He seems to be getting less. He only got five. Maybe he gets less. Maybe he's a terrible person to put in there because he's not bothered. So, yeah, if we put him into him with blood... Yeah, hang on. Can we... Can we... Abel. Abel, 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 Abel. Come, come out of there. Come out of there. You pop into there. And who does not like heat? You. So, you, Eve, pop you into there. So, that should get more than five that we just saw. I would like to think. So how much do we get out of this? Hang on. Move time on nice and quick. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we get, yeah, eight suffering. Okay, there we go. Right, so we're maximising our suffering with the various sort of fears that people have got. Um, ah, right. There is the cauldron. Let's get somebody over to work on the cauldron. You're next to it. That will do. And then we need a trough then to actually eat from. So that makes the raw meat, that cooks it, and that kind of serves it up. That serves up the smelly gloop. Okay, we'll put a couple of troughs over there. Oh, we haven't got enough um, got enough suffering. Maybe we only need one trough. Maybe we'll save a bit of money and just have one trough. Do you know what? It's a bit dark over here, isn't it? It's a bit dark over that part of hell. Can we have ourselves some like torches and stuff around? Pop a torch there and a torch there. I mean, I don't know how sensible it is putting a torch, a flaming torch, next to these types of toilets. But I'm, what, what's the worst that could happen? There we go. So we pop that in. A little bit of light. Okay, lovely. We need a bit up there as well. We need something over here to make this look slightly less, slightly less grim. How about that? Just put lots of those around. Although here I am trying to make it slightly less grim. I, I, it's hell. It's hell. I'm not very good at, at doing things that are really terrible to people. <laughs> I'm trying to make it nice, forgetting that this is, of course, hell. Okay, we'll put some fire in. Maybe the fire burns them as they walk past or something. I do not know. Okay, what next then? So we've got all the basic stuff in. We've got uh, we've got all the food stuff in. And we've got the drink stuff in. Ah, now, yeah, bedroom stuff. We could do with some more of these sleep boxes, couldn't we? These lovely, luxurious boxes up there. There we go. So we'll have another rest area up there. Can we get like a, a chandelier up there? That would be wonderful. If we could get that in. Ah, oh, we need to dig out a couple of um, couple of tiles up there. Do you know what? Let's get them to do that. Can we dig out that and that, please? If everybody's not too preoccupied with doing other stuff. Uh, yeah, move time on. Let's just get that done. Now, it does look like, obviously, we're not getting any more sinners now. That's kind of stopped. 
the uh, incoming sinners of pause because we're in the demo version and that's absolutely fine we're in the demo it's not complete it's not the finished version all that kind of stuff but it looks like we'd keep getting sinners which obviously would then increase our need for drink and food and what have you but also it looks like we get devils now i don't know what the devils do i imagine the devils would help us manage the people and, you know, they'd maybe torture them a bit themselves and then shove them toward various devices. Or would the devils do some more of the manual work? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Right, go to decor. Can we get a chandelier? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Let's build a chandelier for our little residential area up there. Oh, that looks quite nice. That looks quite nice. Oh, good. I'm happy with that. Um, and then let's get ourselves another um box we'll put another little box just there so we can have three people asleep at any one point okay lovely so we've got that in so i think we've kind of covered most of the things we've got ourselves what's refinement what's in there unknown okay so we don't know anything in there now maybe maybe when we get this thing in here this research this first thing maybe that does let us uncover some other bits and bobs because i think if we hover over those crystals I think it does say that we can't do anything with them. Um, used to put high level structures. Right now you don't have the tech required to dig it up. So maybe if we get that in, if we get forbidden fruit research thing in first, maybe that will let us dig that up. Although, yeah, I think that is the end of the, I think that is the end of the demo. I think when you do that, you can't do anything else. I think that's just kind of the, the, the target for the demo. Okay, I do not know. I do not know. But there we go. Right, we've got the basics in. We've got basic stuff in. Maybe we should start trying to gather resources for that. So 300 metal and 200 coal. We've not even got over 100 of each. Okay, right. We might need to get digging, folks. So, um, yeah, dig out all of those things, please. And that, and that, and that. And then also go over that way and then start digging down like sort of that. And then across. Oh, just dig all of these things. Just dig all of that and then dig a tunnel across there as well. There we go. That should get us some quite good resources. We're also going to need some suffering. Is there anything else that we can go and grab that looks relatively nearby? We could. So we could build something. Can we build steps and things? If we get up to there, that would be quite handy. Where else is some good stuff that we can just go and grab? Where is some stuff? Um, yeah, you're going to dig that out. Anything over this way? There's some more stuff over there. I guess we could dig down to here. Let's get all that dug out first. We'll see what resources we've got once we've gone through all of that over there. Oh, look, there's somebody eating the terrible tasteless goop that we've made. Oh, that's lovely. Check that out. That is... I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I guess that's what tasteless goop in hell looks like. Um, But, uh, but yeah, you there, Adam, seems to be enjoying it might be the wrong word but it's certainly making him not as hungry eating the tasteless goop so yo know, there we go it's doing its job i suppose it's doing its job um ingredients wise yeah we've got quite a lot of meat we haven't got too much in the way of excrement but we have got quite a lot of water in reserve we've got 180 dirty water in reserve so that should be fine i imagine in the full version i don't think we get access to these we research extra bits and i imagine we get something that can then i don't know filter the dirty water out and make it into just clean water and then we probably get other bits and bobs to make energy drinks and then i don't know we i don't know distill the potatoes to make vodka and all that kind of stuff so i guess that's what all these things are because there's pages and pages of stuff there's four pages of drinks kind of uh, items there food has got four as well um bedroom that's got four. There's loads. Torches, obviously going to be the big thing there. That's got four as well. There is an awful lot of stuff that we can't see in this version of the game right now, which I would love to have a nosy at. I'd love to have a little nosy at that. But do you know what? We can't do it right now. Never mind. Uh, okay, right. Move time on. Let's get digging, folks. I do like how resourceful our sinners are. I like the fact that they actually get on with jobs without us having to tell them to do so. So, you know, they wander about and they go, right, I'm a bit hungry. I'll go and get some food. Oh, the food's running out. I'll go and make some more food. I need to make some more water from the sort of, you know, the poop mixer, squisher thing, blah, blah, blah. I like that. And then also in their spare time, they just go over and go, do you know what? I'll just, I'll just hop into this, uh, into the Iron Maiden, if you don't mind. I'll, I, a little bit of torturing. Ah, I'm in hell. Okie dokie, whatever. And, you know, I just saw, um, was it Eve? I think just one 
wandered over there, just popped herself in the uh, boiling cauldron thing just there. <laughs> just, we didn't have to tell them. They, they seem to be quite willing to go and do it. I think they've accepted the fact that they are in hell and that this is now, this is now their existence. Here we go. So you, who are you? You're able and you just pop yourself back in there without asking. So you've got back into there, googly eyes to my ketchup all over the place. And there we go. Splendid. Well, there we go. They're getting on with that. That's, that's good. That helps. That, you know, reduces my management burden if you're able to just go and torture yourselves. And again, off you go into there. You know, take a sponge, take some soap, maybe take a nice bath bomb or something. That might be quite nice. You can get all clean while you're in there. In terms of gathering materials to build our final item, I think we need to come down here. I think we need to do some digging down here. So we might need to expand this a little bit to sort of come down like that. And they'll end up in there. And then they could go then across like that and then kind of dig down there. And then, can they then go across like that? That could be quite useful. So we'll see if they can manage that kind of thing. I mean, there is only one person doing the digging, I think. Let's uh, let's take you off of working on that for now. And we'll take Abel out of going in there. In fact, we've got 346 suffering. I think we're okay for suffering for now. Hang on, how, how much suffering do we need to build the final thing? Um, 250. Oh, we've got loads of suffering got so much suffering remaining so that's absolutely fine so we don't need to do any more of that i don't think so it, even though we're in hell our torture instruments can remain you know, inactive for now maybe that this is now the chance to go and give them a good clean go give them a good scrub i mean those spikes in there are going to be a little bit kind of dirty aren't they so we could go and give them a nice scrub with some anti-back wipes and whatever and then the water in here is going to be all sorts of horrible that's going to be all sorts of grim so maybe we can empty that out Give the, give the inside of the cauldron a nice scrub with some proper detergent stuff. And then, you know, refill it with something nice and clean. That that would be nice. That would be perfect if we could do that. Ah, right. They've started coming down here. Let's actually get ourselves a ladder constructed so they can get back up. That is wonderful. And how much metal have we got? 187 metal and 185 coal. Now, how much did we need again? We needed 300 metal and 200 coal. So we're okay for coal, it's the metal that we're going to be now struggling with. Okay, fine. We'll we'll have to work on that then. And we'll do that like that. Ah, we might have to build a ladder up the side somewhere. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, they're just falling down big holes. Okay, don't worry. It's all okay. We'll, we'll make sure you can get in and out of these places. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Our metal numbers are going up. And there we go. Right, so we've got plenty of resources to build this final thing. Uh, they have kind of dug themselves into some quite deep holes. But uh, but yeah, we've got ladders in. So they can construct the ladders. They can get back out. But yeah, of course, while they're down here, they're trapped. So yeah, you're really hungry. One of them really needs the toilet or that kind of stuff. So yeah, get the ladders done and you'll be absolutely fine. There you go. Look, you can run up, get to the loo quick, get to some food quick. You're just going to hang around on a ladder. Okie dokie, you crack on doing that. And um, yeah, let's get this thing done then. Let's put in what I believe is the final thing. So the legend says it's the very special building. Come on, let's see what's behind it. The forbidden fruit. Okay, where do we want to put this? I feel like this needs to go somewhere very important and very spectacular looking. Maybe not over there. How about over here? How about over this way? If we put it there, at the bottom of that ladder, can we then also, can we get ourselves yeah, a bit of decor can we get another chandelier light above it? Oh no, we can't. It's, uh, we need to dig out those two tiles. Do you know what? I want that to happen. Somebody go and dig those tiles out, please. I don't want them there anymore because I want to build this thing. I want that to be in place. <laughs> I'd like it to be nicely lit. If we can't do that, at the very least, can we have ourselves some shelves? Because yeah, they're quite nice. I like the idea of having just a shelf maybe next to it. Is it done already? Oh, crikey, that was quick. Okay, you finished this. And it is, <laughs> it is, it's a golden apple on a little cushion on a plinth with a, with a, a roped off thing. I mean, who just built that? Who just, Eve. <laughs> okay, Eve. Right, Eve, this apple here, you don't want this, right? You leave this alone. You do not want this. But then, yeah, it's got a little sort of security system watching it and everything. Okay. But you know what? I think we'll finish things up there because yes, as we've sort of touched upon, we can't do any more with the demo as it stands right now. But I think things look pretty nice around here. And I realise that we're trying to make hell. I don't think I'm very good at making hell. I think I want to make quite a nice hell. And that's kind of not what hell's all about. I've kind of missed the brief on that one. But you know, I wanted to put down lots of lovely shelves and some chandeliers and this area up here. You know, I try to make it nice. I tried to make the little sort of sleeping area nice with a lovely chandelier to give them some light, a bit of ambience, a bit of mood light and that kind of stuff. I mean, some of the stuff is unavoidably horrible, like the water that's freshly squeezed out of your morning poops and all that kind of stuff. And yet this thing here, 
the the meat just growing in this box in a wall is is fantastically gross indeed but you know i i think we've made an okay hell i think we've made an okay hell we've covered everything we need to cover we've seen all the different bits and bobs the water and the food and the we've got yeah we've got both torture things in both of those in the spiky one and the mildly hot watery one and then yes of course we got the uh the final kind of showcase thing down here as well which is wonderful so uh, yeah we'll finish up i think because yeah we have done all we can do right now i hope you did enjoy this i think this has been a lot of fun i think i like the fact that obviously we're making kind of you know hell and everything we're making bad things for people and we torture them and stuff but it's not you know it's not gruesome and gross and grotesque it's done you know sort of in a cartoony style so when they're in these boxes their eyes kind of google out and all that kind of stuff it's not done in a sort of horrific way it is done in a very tongue-in-cheek light-hearted very very kind of silly way and um and yeah i'll be interested to see what happens as this game develops because uh yeah i'm intrigued with what else is going to go on and the different upgrades for all the different things because i imagine looking at this stuff up here, we can end up with quite a nice version of hell. I mean, okay, if we're starting with, say, these boxes here as where you can go to bed, but let's have a look in bedroom. There, that's only one of these. There's there's quite a lot more slots in here for other things in a bedroom. So maybe in, you know, in time, we could actually get some quite nice sort of uh, living areas sorted out in hell. And of course, yeah, you can start making divine meals and getting you know, root beer and vodka and stuff like that in hell as well. So I'm intrigued to see how this kind of game develops and whether you can make a relatively nice version of hell because that, that would be a slightly weird kind of contradiction in terms but something that i would like to have a go at if at all possible but we'll have a little look at it we'll keep our eye on it and we may well come back to it in the future as it develops but hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have then please do leave a like that would be very very splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense and shenanigans that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time this room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah, come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs>